Good morning, Twin Flames. How you guys doing? Welcome. This is February 2nd. Uh, this is a weekly read for you guys. A um, couple of announcements. If you are still interested in the business, the spiritual business class, turning a skill like tarot or something like that into your livelihood, um, the link is below. I will have a guest for one of the weeks, Jack Gilden, my very good friend, who is going to talk about writing your book. Okay? He's going to talk about that and help you navigate that. I'm going to teach you about YouTube, how to navigate this stuff, how to navigate video, and how to get yourself on track for a, a business that sustains you, not just an idea that's out there that may or may not you know, sustain you financially. Um, I want to give you some tools to help you do that. So if you're interested in that, the link is below. That's the spiritual business class. Also, if you wanted tarot to be one of those things and you want to learn more about tarot from me, I have a tarot class that's also listed below. You can learn how to read tarot like I do. Give that a shot. And um, for those of you, all y'all, in your Twin Flame Ascension, I have a course about navigating um, your spiritual ascension, you might want to check that out too. Okay, so we're gonna be doing some different things this week. Um, gonna be talking about messages for you, gonna be talking about um, potentially individual um, one question readings. I'd like to do something like that this week. If there's anything you'd like me to do that I'm not doing, please put it in the comments. What would you like to see videos on what would you, on what about the twin flame journey or i am going to be doing something on numerology and astrology of twin flames if you'd like that idea hit a like and then put your comments in the comments okay so this week first week of february we are looking at we're looking at growing we're looking at growing together there's a lot of twin flame couples who are have been in the runner chaser for a while Long time, actually. I'm talking about the last 10 years, since 2008, so 12 years. 2008, since the world fell off a cliff here in America with the banks and everybody getting laid off and the economy just doing so lousy. Um, in the 12 years hence, a lot of twins have been in th these cycles, okay? Been in runner chaser, been in all kinds of cycles. And now, that's coming to an end, okay? Because Mission is what's important. Finding your mission. That's why I teach the North Node classes. We are doing an advanced North Node class um, this month. So um, even if you don't know anything about your astrology, the astrology of twin flames, how to figure out um, your twins astrology, and like I said, we will do videos on that. But if you understand your North Node, that will give you your mission. That will help. It's a... It isn't the spiritual path exactly. What it is, is what your North Node is, is your spiritual compass, all right? It will help guide you um, as you're trying to navigate this spiritual journey. Um, the North Node is super important as it relates to your mission, okay? So if that's something you want to get more information on individually, um, the classes I do take a lot of questions you know I teach for a while about it but then mostly I take questions okay all right <clears throat> so let's see what's going on for you um, we're looking at twin energies here for the week what's going on for you guys what's the messages twins need to hear right now messages for the twins please all right let's see <laughs> overcome any obstacle yeah yes so some of you have financial obstacles some of you have career obstacles and some of you have geographic obstacles um, you may be uh, feel like things are far away okay coming into Union or anything like that you may feel like it's far away um, Spirit has your back. I don't even know if you need the card to know this, okay? Spirit has your back. Now is a lucky time. Rabbit spirit, okay? 
Uh, if you guys play uh, do this uh, on the first of every month, Rabbit Rabbit with your friends, I have done that since seventh grade. The same people now, instead of uh, saying that to me in the hallway in seventh grade and in high school and in college, now they're texting me, Rabbit Rabbit. <laughs> right? So it, this is a very lucky time. Um, you can overcome any obstacle, anything that you are facing right now whatever that feels like to you, however you're approaching it, it's almost like magic and miracles. Magic and miracles. And the two of you, the twins, are helping each other. You guys um, give each other a lifetime of lessons in a very short period of time. And you also do, um, because you're mirror images, images of each other, you do support each other in an incredibly powerful way. Even if you're not trying, it feels like very, if you feel like you have to push it, if you feel like there's um, all kinds of obstacles and things like that, the way to do this is to let go, okay? If you're pushing to try to make this happen, then it's just not time yet, okay? Um, your job is to believe in the power of spirit, to manifest positively, this is a lucky time. Um, it's your job to be open to things, all right? Being open to what's coming. Card for you here. Card for you here. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Some of you are holding back. Some of you are holding on to things obsessively. And that's causing like a emotional constipation. <laughs> okay, this is the twin energy, three of wands. They are, in many ways, some of you may feel that they've turned their back on you. Um, but they're really looking out for the bigger picture, okay? They're looking to be, um, to uh, manifest, this is a card of manifestation. So they have manifested this connection and they're waiting they have expectations about so whichever twin you are okay one of the twins is holding back one of the twins is focused on money one of the twins is very focused on the physical um manifestation of love um could be holding back a little too hard also could be blocking because it's so big right the energy of the twins is so big three of wands is about waiting for your ships to come in, okay? Waiting for that abundance to show up. Let's see what's going on right now. Energy of the connection right now. Energy of the connection right now. Seven of Swords, there is some miscommunication or some lack of communication. You each are doing sort of your own thing here. The Seven of Swords is very interesting to me. I want to use a separate deck here to manifest that or to... Um, understand that because seven of swords can be lying lying about money about stability one of the twins is lying about stability okay um i feel like one of the twins might want first of all okay let me just say this so one of the twins is very focused on money I feel like one, I feel like the twin that's focused on money or holding back or obsessive about getting things solid in terms of the physicality, the person, the twin that's uh, very focused on the physicality, whether it's money or it's sex or whatever it is, or living together, getting married, okay? Um, there is some worry and some lying around money because that's also Taurus energy there. The, the uh, Hierophant is Taurus. I feel like this is what is wanted and will be offered. I feel like um, one of you, the one of you who really wants this to be in the physical, get married, things like that, um, is, wanting a, is wanting an offer from the other. 
and kind of lying about it. What I mean by that is like they're not really they're not really being very forthcoming about that. They're not really saying, hey, let's get together, let's be together. I feel like because they might be lying about money, there's some difficulty with money. Some difficulty with money, but no difficulty with love, okay? And, oh, wow, this is beautiful. So the one who is really holding on to an old way, an old paradigm, getting married or, or whatever it is, the one who's holding on to that old paradigm is lying because they're nervous and anxious either a it won't happen or that there's something about money that they're not revealing to you or to uh or you're not revealing to them the key here is about letting love flow there's in the middle there there's jupiter there's abundance from the flow so if the one who is holding back the one who is holding back is not manifesting what they have to do is that they have to let their love flow because the love the joy the happiness about being together is what's restricting the money flow okay and money uh, abundance is coming but the key is to let creativity flow to not focus so much on money or the physical nature of the relationship to not focus so much on that all right the other three of wands in relation to that seven of swords oh wait not this deck this deck um the one that's the three of wands the one that maybe looks like they've turned their back what is the relationship to the seven of swords here knight of pentacles strength overcoming a situation king of pentacles death fool hanged man two of pentacles one more please five of cups sorry <clears throat> okay so the one who looks like they've turned their back on the other or who is um, focused on the manifesting, the one twin is focused on the manifesting, is overcoming anything that, that the other has a problem with money. They are the king of pentacles. So this is either you or them, okay? With how, take however, because it's generally, take however this falls for you. The one who is more stable could be Leo, Leo Scorpio, okay? Um, I'm seeing this other one as Taurus and Sag, Sag energy with that Jupiter. All right. So <clears throat> the one that has a lot to offer is likely to offer um, assistance in terms of, of, phys of physical nature. So on one level, it can be about sex. It can be about getting together, especially since there's a Scorpio card here, right? Um, on another level, it can be about taking a leap of faith right taking a leap of faith coming back around i feel like this i feel like the twin who has who has the opportunity to make this a couple to make this a legit physical couple in the 3d sees the other one struggling energetically however and i do feel like they are going to bring in new abundance something about this lucky time also this is what they want they do want to be together they want to bring this together um the key here is for the whoever is holding back is to open up is to allow truth because right now they're lying about they're lying about their feelings they also are lying about something about money. And I, when I mean lying, that seems like kind of a strong word. What I'm saying is like they're not being forthcoming. They're not sharing. Um, but that is the key. So if this is not you, they're really having a, a struggle. Nine of swords here. They're really struggling um, with what to do next. And I feel like the goal here for you or the, the if you're the one who's manifesting, is to manifest a way to make an offer to them, okay, of some physical assistance or some capabilities that you have. That will allow the money to flow for them. That will allow their emotions to open up, okay? Um, I feel like if you're the one who has the King of Pentacles and the star, I'm sorry, the strength energy, well, it could be a star, but this is about a wish being granted. So 
Let's see, how is this Four of Pentacles looking at the relationship right now? They look at this as, they look at this relationship as you are the key to their, I, I hear survival in my head, and that's true. But I also think it has to do with, with um, heart space survival. Like their, their heart is closed because of their fear around money they also may have they also may have interestingly enough a little bit of a fear of commitment so all of these things need to be opened up how are you looking at how's the three of wands looking at the relationship queen of pentacles wow so the per the twin here who is financially stable this is a particular set of twins who will come together in the physical, I believe within seven, seven days, seven weeks, okay? That's the timing. And I do feel like the one who's having trouble with money, that's why they're not really being very forthcoming with you or opening, whoopsie, or talking to you or anything like that. If this is you, there's a lot of worry on your plate here and you are hoping for this love to come through because it has to do with also with stability, with your stability, King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles, you are, you are on track for that. Okay. You are on track for this new beginning, a physical beginning, a financial beginning with this person. You are on track for this. This is what you have, you have manifested. If you're the four of Pentacles here though, um, what's necessary here is to open your heart, open your creativity. Um, how might you, how might you work with this either fear of commitment or issues around money? How might you do that? I feel like this person is lucky in your life, helping you overcome obstacles energetically, whatever, but it's moving into the physical. All right. It is King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Ain't no more physical than that. Okay. Message to you from your higher self. Page of Swords. If you're the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Swords is there about um, reaching out, texting through, yeah, through, um, you could be just watching them. You might want to watch them a little bit more if this is you. If this is not you, they are watching you a little bit more uh, over social media or something like that. Message to the Three of Wands person. Temperance, more Sagittarian energy, more Jupiter energy. We're seeing a lot of that here with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a destined thing. Obviously, you know that Twin Flame is destined. But this is um, dest the uh, divine timing of this. Like I said, Seven of Swords can be... Um, the timing needs to be an opening up. It needs to be a sharing. Okay? I feel the person who is currently not doing that will do that it could be that they're being pushed to the wall in terms of money okay being pushed to the wall seven of pentacles a lot of things that they have put out there um, have not come to fruition all right a lot of the things that they have done they're like big in big time in their head about money okay so that's what's blocking their uh, connection with you um, but I do feel like something that they've spent a lot of time on is going to yield results. Okay. Um, and so then the, the, um, offers can be made, the love and the, uh, stability can be made, but what has to happen is they need to stop just worrying inside because that's just bringing them more frustration okay and I feel like some kind of encouragement from you is going to benefit them greatly in terms of their work or in terms of um, what they're doing I feel like somebody might have taken advantage of them like for some of you this whoever this four of Pentacles is they were taken advantage of by a previous relationship in terms of money maybe a, a divorce was really tough okay um, <clears throat> and now that's turning around 
okay? I feel like the two of you have an opportunity for this new beginning. Um, guidance for you. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. Yes, change cards. Sun, Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So there's this person, the twin that you're connected to, if this is your story, um, they've had other people, uh, that's another five here, five of swords, five of cups, five of wands, and the one that's missing is five of pentacles. They have either gone through the five of pentacles, dark night of the soul as it relates to the five of pentacles, losing a job, losing a career, they're holding on tightly to whatever they know um, because of a previous relationship, they're left penniless or damn close to that they have put in some effort they're not sure if it's really going to make any difference they see you as somebody who has it together all right if this is you the three of wands you're manifesting something that's really powerful and they the energy of your manifestation helps them is helping them all right getting on that higher vibration plane here of the temperance energy of abundance of doing um all of this energy you are manifesting if this is if you're the three of wands here all of this energy of manifesting of money is drawing them to you energetically because that's where they're blocked you're seeing them as the queen of pentacles okay you're nurturing them okay they're seeing you as king of pentacles they're seeing you as having it all together this way and they've been blocking potentially because they have a money problem all right so lots of change here, confusion for them and all of that. However, the work, the effort you're putting in over here in terms of money is really bringing them toward you for an offer because it is about being in the physical. And when the, with the, the physicality here is dollars, right, is 3D money. So it can be about sex. It can be about those things right it can be coming together in a physical sense but i feel like physical in all the ways all the ways things can be physical right there's sex there's um uh, home and hearth there's job and career there's flow of abundance there's all of these levels of that and for, so for some of you if you have been the one who has been more in the spiritual nature and you've forgotten about your 3D responsibilities, that could put you in a worrisome position. The twin understands. The twin is manifesting at a very high level here. Um, and there may be no talking between you, seven of swords, or there may not be honest communication between you because one of you doesn't want to seem like, oh, well, I just want to marry you for your money or for, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this set of twins, I do feel like we are going forward together and it's taking the work and effort on your part. You're very much Taurus, Virgo, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with Scorpio and Leo here. So you're really doing the work. Now, if this is them, they're really doing the work of abundance of manifesting. What you need to do is get in alignment with the, with your twin, uh, in the 5d likely because the um, Archangel Michael is here talking with you about this needing to just keep going in terms of the abundance piece that is the thing that will bring you together let's see anything else right so you can help them or they could help you eight of cups nine of wands yes healing this past baggage as it relates to money a brand new beginning walking toward your fear and um, taking charge, taking control. Whoever has problems with money here is going to take charge and contr take control because of the understanding of manifesting. They're kind of doing it wrong. Whoever's, whoever is the one that's the four of pentacles, having a lot of money problems, they're kind of doing it wrong. They're not on their mission. They're not manifesting from their place of their spiritual gifts, from the place of what you're here to do, okay? And that's kind of the reason that their manifestation is blocked. Um, if this is you, the three of wands here, you're open to your spiritual gifts and spiritual guidance. If this is the other person, they're definitely open to that. And 
even though there's going to be some change and some difficult this the death card here comes up twice all right and also a lot of fives fives are about change okay and i do feel, and also sevens are a spiritual number here the seven of pentacles seven of cups so i feel like this person just might not be whoever is having trouble with money is just not really clear about what they want the other person the other twin is clear about what they want not shy about manifesting money so if the spiritual, you know, we're talking about that spiritual business class, when people are like, oh, I'm not allowed to use my spiritual gifts for money, that's 100% wrong. 100%. Because if you cannot take care of, if you cannot master the things on this 3D level, you're not ascending. 3D level money, mastering that is about removing old paradigms of thinking around money removing old ways of doing things coming into new skills new habits new ways and understanding your mission about how to move forward with that okay and the old spiritual um trope about oh well if you have spiritual gifts you're not allowed to use them in exchange for any kind of physical um remuneration or physical uh, payment of any kind that is incorrect okay the spiritual gifts that you are here to do to expand to share with other people if you cannot keep a roof over your head or food on your table ain't no way you're helping anybody else okay that needs to no longer be a worry okay and I do see for this whatever twin uh, twin set <laughs> whatever twin couple this is I do feel like they are going to be life partners because I do feel like something about this person one of you letting open letting your heart open allowing things in that will allow abundance in that will also attract the twin in terms of 3d marriage and and mastering the 3d level so that you can move on to mission okay that's what's happening here wow wow okay so um a lot of stuff here about mastering your 3d mission and in terms of your 3d mastery over financial reward over your blocks around money okay that's what's happening and you're helping the twin or they're helping you to to overcome that whether you're in the 3d or not I do feel like this couple will become um, married in this life. Okay, so part of this, the one of you who is miserable and upset about money, decide to be happy now, be joyful, allow things to flow. Some of you are in connection with your twin. You might be helping them in a financial way. You might be helping them open up to some new ideas about what they're doing with their life they're in an unhealthy situation that needs to be moved off of and i feel like you if you're the if you're the three of wands here you're really knowing your understanding manifesting okay um the person you're asking about is trustworthy the situation's already resolved this is going to come together in a very positive way okay very positive way indeed and i just think it's the unhealthy situation is a block or a mindset block around money or marriage or anything like that you guys are overcoming this in the next seven weeks remember i said that stay optimistic playfulness yes 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 attraction deception you bet pay attention to red flags children so the deception here is the key and i feel like this person might be deceiving themselves and they have a lot of red flags around money it could be that um, there's uh, uh, codependence in their family. They're thinking a certain way about money. Yep, they're moving toward really. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Ace of Wands, new beginning. Right. Um, you are definitely a guide for this partner. And I feel like the more you're sharing, the more you get into the higher vibration, the more you are a guide. Okay, and coming toward you for this relationship to manifest in the physical um, is requiring this. This is the lesson to learn is about mastering um, 
mastering your mission, mastering the 3D plane of money. And the 3D plane of money is quite unhealthy right now, okay? We have a lot of people who are hoarding money, who are not paying people honestly, who are not helping each other um, out of fear. And I feel like this is a new day. This person's going to learn a lot from you. If you're the one who's learned how to manifest money, learned how to manifest this piece of their life, or, you know, you sort of overcome the worries and things like that, they're going to learn a lot from you. And I do feel like um, the rabbit spirit, it's a lucky time, is what's happening right now. Okay? You're just really being in that energy of Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, wanting that to come together. The block is this person has not been able to manifest um, a, a solid way of being stable in their life. And that's where you come in. For this group of twins, it is about man, it is about mastering the 3D level. So to that end, uh, if you'd like to join any of the classes, um, and if you're the one who needs to master more about money, the spiritual business class will help you do that. Obviously, I'm gonna say that because why not? Um, <laughs> that's why I'm doing the class. So Check those things out. Also, if you want to join the Empress Club, um, the link is below for that too. That is all Twin Flame. So if you're new to the channel, hey, hey. All right, my darlings.